Dear colleagues, we're coming to the end of an extraordinary year. Yet another extraordinary year. When we've achieved a lot under very challenging conditions. Protective equipment, coronavirus tests, quarantines, jumping in for colleagues, extra shifts, home office, at the same time homeschooling, video conferences that seem to last forever, worries, but you were there. You persevered and you're still persevering for our patients, for our customers and for Fresenius. Without you, it couldn't have been done. Thank you. And yes, the coronavirus is still with us more than we had hoped a year ago. The pandemic is restricting us personally, all of us, and it is also still hurting our business significantly. Our growth, our results, and our ability to continue to invest. But we have risen to this challenge and together we are overcoming it. And I'm proud of that. And please, you should be too. The pandemic shows us something very clearly. We are needed more than ever. Our contribution to society is important. What you do is important, enormously important. We are ensuring healthcare for people around the world. And that's a big responsibility, one that we must meet. And that means that we must constantly evolve. The world is moving and we can't stand still. We must be open, open to change, and we can be, because that is something we've been proving for a long time now. Go back about 110 years, and we were still a small lap in the back of a pharmacy. I'm very glad we didn't stop there. We continued to develop and we seized opportunities. We repeatedly overcame challenges and a few crises along the way with hard work, with skill, with courage, and with confidence. And confidence is something we can continue to have because our prospects remain strong. In most of the areas and countries we're active in, Fresenius is also a market leader. Demand for our products and services remains strong and is in fact increasing. At the same time, however, prices and reimbursements we receive they are not, at least not everywhere, and at least not as fast as our costs. And that's independent of the pandemic and therefore not just temporarily. And so even though the demand for high quality, affordable medicine is rising steadily, we must continue to work on staying competitive. By every measure, we must reduce our costs, be even more efficient. And I know it's hard, but it's the only way to create financial flexibility, flexibility we need in order to invest. Invest in our further growth and in securing our future. And that is why we are now examining whether all the things we do right now really make sense for us and how we might be able to do some things better, simpler, faster, and yes, also cheaper. Is this something that comes easily for us? No, it isn't. But it must be done, precisely in order to secure our future. And in doing this, we will also have to part ways with colleagues in some areas. Few in view of more than 310,000 employees around the world at Fresenius. Yet every single one is a hard decision and one that we could never take lightly. And only when, after very careful analysis, we are convinced that it's necessary. Regrettable all the same. And uh, I promise that it will be done in every single case 
respectfully, decently, fairly, and with recognition of the contributions made by those affected. I realize that change creates uncertainty and that such announcements can cause worry and anxiety. Actually, they should not be part of a year-end message. But treating you with respect includes being open with you to prepare you well in advance for changes. When it comes to implementing those, however, care and diligence must take priority over speed. To me, it's clear. We continue to have outstanding prospects to develop successfully in the future. Our business stands on several strong pillars and we have moved decisively into new important growth areas. Home dialysis, value-based care models, biosimilars, reproductive medicine, and our numerous digitalization initiatives, just to give you a few examples. And if there's one thing I'd like you to take away from my message today, then it's confidence. Confidence in our future, confidence in Fresenius, and confidence in yourself. We are a strong team and we will grow further, seizing opportunities boldly and confidently, just as we always have. I wish you and your families happy holidays and a good start into the new year with all its opportunities and challenges. Thank you and all the best.